If you build it, they will come. Turns out that doesn't just apply to baseball's field of dreams. Tonight we have an update on a judge who built a backyard swimming pool that ended up being a dream come true, not only for himself, but for his community as well. When we first told you about the retired judge, here comes the cement truck, who built a backyard pool at age 94. It's 16 by 32. You had to have asked, how long could he even enjoy it? <laughs> Six years later, <laughs> here's your answer. Secret is don't die. <laughs> Keith Davison has reached a milestone. Yeah. <laughs> He's 100 now. 100. <laughs> And still asking the same question of Morris, Minnesota's. Hi. Kids. You ready to go swimming? And I knew I had to do something or go nuts. The World War II veteran with no grandchildren was battling loneliness back then. April of 2016 is when I lost her. Alone in his empty house after the death of his wife, Evie. You cry a lot. That's just the way it is. And now? <laughs> kids in the pool. Parents on the deck next to him. I love being here. Beverly Metzger comes with daughter Zoe two or three times a week. And how does this compare to Morris's other pool? What other pool? <laughs> The only outdoor pool in Morris. The judge's pool. Has become their pool, too. Yeah! You know, it's a terrible business expense. A terrible, but, but it's one of the best investments they ever made. Three, two, one, go! An investment. Alrighty. Continuing to yield dividends. We're celebrating Judge turning 100. I know there. A party with all the usual attractions. Okay. Plus. It was a lot different when I was 18. A 100-year-old <laughs> guest of honor <laughs> who still plays in the community band. And he's playing the largest instrument at age 100. It's pretty amazing, pretty incredible. Lonely. You've been so generous to this community. No more. Thank you for enriching our lives with your goodness, love, generosity, and wisdom. All I can say is that, that I'm surrounded by friends. And uh, what more could you ask for? Keith Davison dug a hole in his backyard. That's his pool, right? A hole. Happy birthday. Now is full. Dear Judge. <laughs> as his hundred year old heart. <laughs> Boyd Hooper. Yay! Carol Evan News. More. Some of the children we filmed during our first visit to the judge's pool are now in high school. Their parents believe memories made in the judge's pool will remain with them for the rest of their lives. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Happy tears on that one. I love That's that story. Great story. And I love his talk about the investment. Worst investment <laughs> I've ever made. Worst business move I've ever made. <laughs> Oh, what a great man. man. Love yeah. that story. Gosh, I do story. too. Such Wonderful. Such a fun update. I hope the pool's still open, huh? Yeah, maybe it is this weekend, this weekend in the 80s. I'm not sure if they closed it just yet. 